will be a walkover bout. We believe Anthony Fowler's damaged his hands. But before we get to that, we have Artem Shevatorev against Jason Quigley. Russia against Ireland. Well, here is one of the most exciting boxers in the entire tournament. Artem Shevatorev. Look at his record. TKO, TKO. He won easily on points against Florentino of Brazil. And then a TKO in that quarterfinals. It was just magnificent. Here's the Irishman looking cool, calm, and collected. He beat Virginia of India, Brown of Scotland, and Zoltan Harksa of Hungary in the quarterfinal. Now, what Quigley has got is he's got phenomenal speed. Trevor Torev, look at his history. It's almost non-existent. At the Ivy World Championships in Baku, all he made was the round of 32. Now he's Mr. KO here. He is just on fire, the Russian. And quickly, that'll no doubt be in the back of his mind. But let's not forget, European gold medalist and in the World Series of Boxing, undefeated. 22 years old, comes from Donegal, a solid fighter. These are our judges for this bout. Argentina, Finland, Germany, Denmark, and Puerto Rico. We'll look out for this uh, semi-final in the men's middleweight. Under 75 kilos, these men. And it is Mr. Jean-Robert Lain of France that shall be refereeing the bout. So three three-minute rounds of World Championship semi-final boxing. Men's middleweight gets underway. Artem Chemotorev of Russia in the red up against Quigley of Ireland in blue just watch for the power of the russian he'll be looking to stop this early as he has done in three other bouts well jason quigley has had a late start in this competition very slow we've not seen the usual power and skill and technical ability that we know is available to him he's one of the most mobile fighters at this weight very fast very light indeed but Artem Shebotarov in the first preliminary a TKO walked the second one incredibly easy then another two TKOs so a big hitter he'll be looking to put power into the shots where his difficulty will lie here tonight against Quigley is the mobility of the Irishman and you can see absolutely fluid movement on the outskirts of the ring from Quigley and as I said he's had a slow start but getting up to speed now and provided he doesn't present a sitting target for the Russian well Shevatarov will have his work cut out at this semi-final level. Well, it's, right now, it's exactly uh, as we thought this would be. Quigley moves around, elusive. Shevatarov stalking his man, waiting to get him in a corner and start pummeling him, using that incredible power he's got. Good exchange there from Quigley. The left went upstairs, the right went downstairs, back upstairs with the left. So we're seeing a better range of shots from Quigley, but he's got to keep on his toes because <laughs> if Shebatarov gets him in the cross wires, well, we know he's going to unload some pretty heavy shots here. Good uppercut there from the Russian. Big right hand from the Russian as well. Shebatarov headhunting here looking for an early stoppage good hands from Irish fighter quickly well quickly trying to play his man inside pulling him on trying to cut that left hand out of the uh, state of play but of course the Russian tagging him with the right so that's it the final few seconds the bells about to go oh and a good exchange right on the bell there Quigley catching the Russian 
So, the elusive style of Quigley, counter-punching there, certainly looked impressive, though uh, the Russian Shevatarov very aggressive. Just look at the potential power that Shevatarov can bring to this. Skill of Quigley, he spoilt a lot of that work that the Russians brought inside, brought up his arms, covered up well, moved. Well, this is how they saw it, the judges. 10-9 to Shevatarov for Judge B. The other two judges saw it in favor of Quigley. This is a tight bout, but Quigley's counter-punching and movement right now has got him the lead. So they're back up for uh, round number two. Two three-minute rounds left in this men's middleweight sub-75 kilo class. Shevatarov of Russia in red, Quigley of Ireland in blue. Good connection there from Shevatarov. Goes for the midsection, lands the shot. Great left there from Quigley and a right. Good solid connections against the Russian. And the strategy of Shevatarov to just try and stop his man may not work for him here because faster hands from Quigley, greater mobility working for him. Good left from Quigley. Right as well and slips the Russian. Well, for all the TKO talk that Shevatarov has brought to this tournament, Quigley getting up to speed here and landing some clean shots on some very good target areas. Looking confident on his toes. This is looking like a good exhibition from the Irishman. Good right hand. Oh, a cracking right hand there from the Irishman. The Russian ducking his head down in, trying to get inside Quigley's long reach. And he's getting caught. Just a little slip there between the ropes. Uh, the referee, no standing aid, just uh, touches his gloves for a second. We still have a minute and a half of this second round. Well, Clear Quigley has managed to land some very clean shots. And he's tested the chin of the Russian, just as he did there. It's that overhand right. The Russian drops his left hand, and Quigley manages to find a way in. And it's on target, and that's so important, because this could be a stoppage bout. his toes quickly trying to demonstrate to the judges and the crowd in attendance here that he's in control keep your head up says the referee to quickly 50 seconds left of this second round and the Russians starting to make a little bit of headway here after struggling in the first minute and a half oh my goodness me and he's claiming he just slipped over, but he's getting a standing eight. The Russian made connection for sure, and that's a fair call. Now, the judges won't necessarily take a point off for that, but they will certainly take it into consideration. The Russian now smells some blood, but gets a big right hand for his troubles. Quigley's composed himself very quickly. It did tag him the punch. He did look a bit unsteady on his legs, but he's composed, he's come back, and he's starting to put pressure back on the Russian. A good left hand there. The Russian throwing caution to the wind coming in, almost without a care. Quigley capitalizing. Great left-right-left -right -left combination. At the end of the round, very strong again for Quigley. Well, Quigley, for uh, at least two minutes of that round, was uh, all dominant, but the Russian... He had a great spell near the end there, and of course tagging him as he did, getting a standing eight count. That's earlier on in the round, Will. Well, we might get a chance just to see what happened there. The Irishman said it was a slip. Well, you know it was actually, looking at that, he just tripped over his heel, didn't he? Uh, there was a slight bit of contact there, and that was a tough call on the Irishman. Let's see how the judges see it. They've all given it in favor of Quigley. They too thought it was a bit of a trip, and I think that's a great decision there by the judges. 18-20, 19 each, and 18-20. So one judge right now has them even. We go in to the final round then. Jason Quigley of Ireland right now has the advantage over the hard-hitting Russian, Artem Shevatarov of Russia in red. Final round. 
to get through to the men's middleweight final. Well, I think the scoring of the last round is a brilliant demonstration of just how transparent the new scoring system is that Aiba have employed. Absolutely brilliant there that Quigley run the round, but we go into a fierce concert hit, contest here in the third. It's really getting intense in there. Anything you can do, I can do better, says Quigley. He's no longer using movement, which is uh, the number one thing is in his arsenal. He's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Russian. And uh, could that be dangerous tactics? He's got a lead. And uh, there was a little bit of head contact there. And I wonder whether the Russian has just had a bit of a cut. Uh, the referee is checking him over. You can't see it right now. He's just having a glance at him. Brings them back together. Two minutes 20 of round three to go. Psychologically, the advantage of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a strong hitter sends the message out, I've dominated this fight, I've got to the stage now where I can match you on equal terms, and that is a psychological advantage in the mindset of Quigley, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Russian and say to him, I'll beat you on your terms as well if I have to. And look at Quigley now, just coming in, powering the shot, and really... Watch the head, says the referee. A little the flash, yeah. Both sides at fault there. Brilliant strategy from Jason Quigley. First round, he kept out of trouble. Caused the Russian to work hard. Second round, he started to balance things up in terms of his retaliatory response. Third round, they're head to head. Well, that little pause there is because uh, a little blood coming from the Russian's nose. The referee wiped it away. We're underway again. And uh, once again, they're right in the middle, toe to toe. This is great action in round three. Less than a minute and a half to go. We're halfway through this round. Quigley will want to demonstrate his technical prowess. So on his toes again, but the referee calling for the doctor this time to look at a cut just above the Russian's left eye. So center and neutral corner, Jason Quigley. He's actually got some blood on his arm and on his chin there, but uh, it's not his own. The Russian now uh, trickling blood out of his nose. The doctor just checking it over, dabbing it down, making sure he can continue, which of course he can. There's no blood coming into his eyes. One minute and 17, we're underway again. Now, quickly, excuse the pun, but is he smelling blood here? Is he going for a big victory here now that the Russian is injured? Referee again calling the injudicious use of heads here into play but uh, Quigley pulling forward and on the inside really thundering in and landing big right hands referee not happy there yeah once again sent to a neutral corner Jason Quigley and uh, the judge or rather the uh, doctor referee just glancing at that nose nobody else allowed to get involved during the actual round as uh, corner men uh, will be nervous about that oh and a big right hand from quigley right on the nose well quigley's made his mind up the last minute of this third and final round will all be about power he wants to send a clear message to possibly his opponent in the final that he'll fight you on any terms on his toes now, showing the judge and the attending crowd here that high level of boxing skill. Well, just uh, 15 seconds to go here. And Quigley pushing forward now. Everything has swung around. The Irishman's had a cracking fight. He takes a headbutt to the nose, though. And uh, the Russian being a little dangerous with his head there. Great right hand on the way in. And a left, punishing the Russian here now. Oh. What a magnificent fight we have witnessed. The Irishman drops to his knees. Absolutely ecstatic with his performance, and so he should be. He's found his feet. He started slowly in the tournament, but look at this. Standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the biggest slugger in the whole tournament. Solid connections there. Every punch bang on target. And even though the Russian came in hard, look at Quigley, lands on the temple, lands on the jaw, again lands on the sweet spot, and pushes this man who's got a three TKO record in this tournament right on the back foot. Now we go over to the referee to get our final scores. Uh, will Artem Chebatorev get the birthday gift that he wants? He turns 25 tomorrow. I'm afraid it isn't.
it goes in favor of Jason Quigley as we expected. All three judges score it in favor of Quigley. Three and oh, the Irishman is on fire. And uh, after a tough day two days ago in the quarterfinals for Ireland, Jason Quigley is on to the final. Brilliant action from the Irishman, 22 years old. He is loving this. He's been in an absolute war. And the interesting thing is, he has just 24 hours now to recover. The question is, will he recover in time? Now, here are the fighters he's up, sorry, the judges scorecards. 9-10, all in favor of Quigley in the final round. Just Lars Brovel of Dale.